Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Nicole, and in today's video, I wanted to do a video about how to brush your horse. Um, so what you will need is a curry comb. Um, there's a lot of variety of curry, curry combs, but this is the one I will be using. It's like a jelly one with like little bristles and bigger bristles. Then you'll need a hard brush to get off all the really cakey mud, a soft brush for their face and just to get like, the lighter dust off, and a hoof pick. So, what you're gonna do is starting with your curry brush, you're gonna start at the top of the neck in circular motion and go down their body. And onto their butt. And onto their belly. It's very important that you get your the horse's belly. Ooh, this is, ooh. You're fine. Make sure you get the horse's belly. And then the shoulders. And I always get the legs. Because a lot of people forget about that. But it prevents rain rot and all kinds of mud fever and all that stuff. So after you're done brushing, curry combing, you're going to use your hard brush. And you're just going to go everywhere where you did the curry. And make sure under the belly too, you don't want them getting any ulcers. So once your horse, you're done brushing your horse, I also get this part, then you grab the soft brush. And just again, you just go over Horse flies this season, I didn't hit him, there was a bug on him. Um, I'm gonna brush off every area where you just brushed him. I also always recommend people to brush their horse for at least five minutes to get their muscles going because brushing actually stimulates blood in their muscles and they get muscle buildup, so. And there's scary car coming out. Scary car, huh, buddy? And I get it under the belly. And then hoof time. I don't know if you guys are be able to see this, but I'll try to like put it down here so you guys can see. So what I usually do is I go down and grab their pastern and squeeze it a little and he picks it up. And then on the inside of their pastern, there's like a frog. Um, you guys can, I'll link below what a frog is, but you just go outside of the frog and make sure that you get all the mud out of their hoof because it's super uncomfortable if they have mud in their hoof. And do the same for all. And then you're going to do the same thing for all three or the other three feet. And I'm going to go tack him up and then do his other side. And we'll see y'all soon. Bye, folks. Bye.